everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my seven day video challenge you if you're new to my channel I'm actually just doing a video every single day this week you might just be stumbling upon this video not watching the rest but if you are watching that series here's another video and one I've been looking forward to filming well kind of I mean <sighs> I love organizing and I love getting my shit together but at the end of the day it is a pain so yeah it is what it is but I figured I would film what I'm doing today to hopefully make it a little bit less stressful for you if you're doing it so what I'm doing is my annual switch over from summer clothes which you can see here lots of dresses summery tops over to my autumn winter clothes and you might be lucky enough to live in a big space a big apartment or a big house or whatever where you don't have to do this and one day <laughs> i hope to be there to have like a permanent section for everything but right now i live in a small one bedroom apartment in manhattan in new york so i have to be thrifty about things so, so what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna do the switch over i split it up into three different parts and i'm gonna do it step by step myself but I'll make it really clear in this video the steps that I do so hopefully if you're doing it or if you need to do it or if you've been putting it off this will be the push and hopefully just help you do it as well so let me pop the camera over here and let's get right into it okay step number one I call the clear out stage of the switch over and this is vital like there's no point you just coming in taking out all the summer clothes putting them into your storage box or whatever it is and putting everything in from last year because realistically you don't still love everything some of the summer stuff you've had this summer you're sick of you don't want you better off to give it to charity to sell it like use that money for you know your autumn stuff and then same with the winter stuff coming in you might have changed your mind about things and there's no point putting that back into your wardrobe if you know you're not going to wear it in the next six months so what i'm going to do is i have this wardrobe you can see behind me i have this little space ignore how messy they are they're going to be a lot better and then i also share the wardrobe we have in the hallway with my boyfriend tommy who lives here in the apartment with me people always ask me as well they're like erica where does tommy put all his stuff and i promise you he has plenty of space <laughs> in the wardrobe he is the most minimalistic person i have ever come across in my life like i could probably count the number of clothing pieces he has he's he's like a typical boy that is very just easy in the things he has so we share the wardrobe out the front so i'll show you what's out there i'll show you all the stuff in here and then i'm gonna go through everything figure out what i want to you know keep what i want to give away or whatever it is and then the switch over comes so i do this and i put them into three piles and these are the three piles so pile number one will be for the summer clothes i'm going to be putting into my storage box so for example this blue really summery top that will be going into my storage box which I'll show you and that's the first section second section is for example I don't know if I'm going to be throwing these things away or whatever it is but for example this blue dress I see it I realize okay I didn't wear that that much this summer I don't think it's a piece I'm going to wear next summer time to move on so that would be the second pile the kind of go pile and then pile three will be the stuff that are staying so things i know i that won't be going anywhere for example my black blazer <laughs> you probably saw my last haul if you watched it things like that that i have been wearing all summer i will be wearing all autumn all winter and again next spring summer so there are the three sections and i recommend just finding a space in your apartment or your, your home or whatever it is like a big open space where you can have the three piles really clearly so i'm gonna do it here because there's like this big space we haven't got our dining table yet so i'm gonna use that open space really clearly put the sections and we'll be good to go so stage one let's go
first stage done. So let me just turn on the camera and I'll show you the progress so far. Okay, so pile number one, this is all the summer stuff that I took out of my wardrobe and that I'm gonna be putting into storage. So that's good. And then the pile over here, this is all the stuff I'm gonna donate. Um, it's actually a good lot of stuff in here. I just don't have it like folded tidily like this one so just went through the stuff and like was pretty ruthless and there's probably more I can get rid of now kind of as I get more into autumn and I see what I'm actually reaching for but for now I think this is good so I'm gonna pack all that up and then the third pile like I told you was the stuff that's staying and I just kept them in the wardrobe and as I was kind of you know, seeing what I was going to keep, I incorporated the next stage, which is, you know, organizing the actual space. So this section makes me very happy. All my blazers are here. I kind of do it in color coordination. That's what Jamie from Porterly, who's like an organizer, she taught me that. So white to black and then this is what I do actually. This is maybe a good trick if you're kind of struggling to get rid of something. So I went white to black like this. Like these are all blazers. I'm gonna wear so much over the next like six to eight months. Then these babies at the back are like the colorful, more kind of out there ones. And if you know me, I'm definitely more of a black and white neutral person when it comes to style, especially autumn winter. So I put them just to the end and I'm gonna see realistically how much I reach for them in the next like month or so. So that's kind of like my test area. So if I come back here in like two months time and I know I haven't worn any of these, then they gotta go. So that's kind of a good way to maybe do it. Like organize as much as you can, color coordination, but keep a section, like a test section as I'll call it. So organize that. Um, this kind of isn't ideal here, but I figured I might as well use this shelf for something. So I just put a few pa pairs of shorts which I'm keeping out just kind of for autumn for like blazers and stuff because it is warm some days. Short skirts and then in here my long skirts. Then up here I have all my tops. It kind of goes body suits and then like color coordination. So creams, white into black and then again all the color stuff back here. And then these are more like wintery kind of night out stuff. Here I have my loungewear, hats, this bag section. I haven't done too much with accessories today, I'm not gonna lie, like shoes and accessories have to be looked at, but for now, that's just where some of the bags are. Trousers I'm gonna keep. Again, you can see the kind of colorful ones here, which another like little test section. So we'll see how they go. And then this section, which I always find the hardest to make look pretty, are my dresses, because I don't know, there's just a lot of different shapes and, colors and like try and keep the kind of categories of dresses together so it doesn't look the most organized but i do know like where everything is and if i want to find something i know exactly where to go so that's looking pretty good and then over here i turned this little section into my knitwear so these are things i swapped out for autumn obviously wasn't wearing these at all during the summer so i have some blacks greys, beiges and then into white and I definitely want to see now like what I'm reaching for most and I'll be very kind of ruthless with like changing this up if I see that I'm not wearing things. And then for now out here I have my coats and again try to kind of colour coordinate as much as I can. I found it a little bit tricky to let go of coats at the moment because I still need to figure out like what I'm going to reach for. I think it's a bit premature. I'd say I'll know like by the end of November, you know, if some of these I'm not wearing them or not reaching for them, they'll go then. But for now, it looks good. And then up here, that's the Wi-Fi box. <laughs> um, I just have jeans and trousers, which again, I'll be cutting down as the season goes on. But for now, they're just pretty organized. I have to actually move that denim over there. But yeah, not bad. So that's stage one and stage two done. And then last stage i know some of you are probably thinking erica where are you going to put all these dresses and clothes and this is my secret so stage three pack things away okay so <laughs> this is my big storage kind of box i suppose you'd call it it's from ikea these are amazing i actually have six smaller versions of these under my bed and i do want to do a whole separate video on that someday i keep like one for gym gear one for my underwear 
one for swimwear like there's six of them under there and they're so handy and they fit under my bed but this one is like my big one for the stuff like seasonal stuff and this actually fits into the wardrobe like you know where the dresses are hanging it actually fits in there like not ideal but it's new york so i'll put up with it so this is it right now i kept it full so i could show you like how it looks but let me just turn around right now i have some of my faux fur coats in here so i have to take them out and actually squeeze them into that wardrobe which actually <laughs> might be a tiny bit tricky um maybe tom will let me push over a tiny bit just for now until we figure things out but i'll show you how this looks inside and then i'm gonna get all the summer stuff in here so this is it. It doesn't look huge on camera, but it, they actually are pretty big. Got it in Ikea probably like a year ago, I would say. Maybe a bit longer. And right now, I just have my big coats in here. Like my faux furs. The really bulky ones. So I'm going to take all these out. Find a place for them. And get all this stuff over here in here. Slight bit of a squash, <laughs> but everything is in there. These things, I'm telling you, they're great. If I can find a link, I'll link it down below. But I got an IKEA and I'm sure they still have them, and they come in like half the size as well. So that's it, guys. We are done. Definitely, you need to give yourself time to do it right. Like, I feel like I could probably keep going for another hour or two if I wanted to do my shoes and bags and stuff, but I have to go because <laughs> I have to go for dinner this evening. But really happy with how it turned out um so much better and just even getting all that stuff out it just like makes you remember what you have and coming into a new season you can be so eager to like buy 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 all these new things but when you actually do a proper clear out and organize things into their sections and categories you really realize you have loads of stuff from last year or like previous years and then at least when you're buying new stuff if you're buying new stuff you can kind of think about what you actually have already and see how you can minimize your spending and purchasing which is always a good thing too so hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you have any tips that you think i missed out on or that i could use in the future or just like add in definitely let me know as well and if you like these kind of videos let me know and i can definitely do more i'm such a virgo i love organizing and i'm definitely that kind of person that just can't focus until my space is like organized it's very annoying it's kind of a curse to be honest but at least the place is pretty organized as a result so anyway i will leave it here thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video which is tomorrow don't forget i'm doing seven days of videos so yeah thanks so much again and i will see you in the next one bye